bit of a complete role reversal from last year because last year Marco was 8-6 up on me and I came back. And this year I went from 6-3 down to 8-6 up. And when it went 8 each, I just said to myself, don't do what happened last year because obviously it went the way it went. But um, no, I think that 17th frame was a massive frame. Um, I put some a couple of hardish long reds and a couple of dodgy balls down the rail. So I went on to win the frame from it. But um, all in all, I'm quite happy with the way I played. Could still always ob obviously play a lot better, but uh, I'm f just glad to be into the next round. How confident were you when you came back that you could fight back? Because I, I actually entered the arena as you were outside, I think, having a cheeky fan before you went in today. And there seems to be one of the fans who was almost suggesting to you that it was over. I don't listen to people like that. I just, I just concentrate on what I got to do. And I knew if I got off to a good start, won the first couple, because like yesterday, I noticed like when I was four one down, got it back to four three. Marco missed a few, so I thought if I can get, say three or four on the bounce, which I did, he might start feeling it a bit more. And obviously, I've got to take into consideration my nerves and everything. But I, I always know that I can handle it if I need to. Obviously, unless I'm eleven five up. I mean, obviously you, you've had a good season, so that must give you a lot of confidence anyway coming into this. Yeah, definitely. Um, it's probably the best season I've had thus far in my career. Uh, a couple of finals in the PTCs and basically consistent, at least getting to venues. I think I've only missed one, maybe two venues this season. So all in all, yeah, very happy with the, the season so far. So you feel like you belong here now? Well, I don't know if you can class it as belong here, but I, I, I want to be part of this place, yeah. Definitely, I want to be like a regular fixture. So, but I've still got a long way to go before that can be achieved. Your next match is against Judd Trump. A thoughts on that? Yeah, it'd be a good game. I don't think it'd take very long. It's similar, me and Judd, very similar. Obviously, played each other in Dublin just recently and it was a good game then. So, that was only a best of seven. So, if the, if the standard that we played in that best of seven is anything like in the 25, then everyone's in for a treat. Do you think there'll be more pressure on him having knocked out the defending champion? No, I, I think it'd be a little bit of nerves, but I would have thought he'd be quite relaxed. So he's got it's the same for me. Neither of us have really got anything to lose. We've got everything to win because we've got a place in the quarterfinals at stake. So one of us is going to make our debut in the quarterfinals of the World Championship. Will you have a lot of friends and family coming up to cheer you on? Um, most of them are already here, and I don't think they're planning on going home. So I think they've just ripped up their train tickets and staying up for a few more days. I just got to hope that I can shift this cold and a bit of a dodgy cough that I've got. So back to the boots to get some medicine. Marty, what do you think of Julian as a player? Yeah, he's a great player. Um, I've, I've only seen him play a few times, but um, and obviously I've played him a couple of times, but. I, it's, he's, he's one of those, he's a bit like anyone really, If when, on his day he can put anything, same as like, the likes of me, Ronnie and who else, but yeah, I'm, he's a good, he's, he's obviously going to be now classed as one of the better players because of winning China and getting himself in the top 16 and fair play to him, he deserves whatever comes his way. Do you think his mindset's going to change now that he, he did win out of China because there's been all this pressure on him as a kid and he's eventually won this? Mm. Who knows? It's that's just something that it will be down to him, really. I can't. It's not really anything that I can say to that matter. But well, he's improved as a player, hasn't he? Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. He's. I think he's become more of an all-round player than what he used to. I think like his safety game's not quite the best, but what you see him put a long ball, then sometimes you wonder why does he need safety? So. It's gonna, it, there won't be much safety in our match whatsoever. It'll probably just be off the break off, long red, end of frame, probably, sort of stuff. It seems like a great time last week, Martin. You stayed around and you got knocked out. You sort of like enjoyed the social side of it. Yeah. yeah. Do you think that's how you could come back this year? Um, I, the main reason why I stayed so long last year was I did not want to go home and dwell on what had happened. I thought to myself, I'm going to stay here and enjoy myself. Um, and that's what I did. Um, I enjoyed every moment of it and it, I suppose in some ways it gets you used to the surroundings like you know where you're going instead of having to keep asking anyone where do you go for the practice room, where do you go for this room, where do you go for that room so but no, I, I, I suppose it helped a little bit. Tell us about the nicknames because you've got the pinnacle but do you refer to yourself as the goat as well? No, no, is that no, a that is a very vicious rumour from a good friend of mine called Stephen Wood, he's He's what we call the goat. 
shall we say. But, uh, but apparently I've been nicknamed a quiet assassin by Joe Johnson. But um, I don't know if that one's going to kick off. Can't be quiet though when you come on to Motorhead, can it? No, definitely not. I suppose beforehand I'm not quiet, but when, when I get into the arena then I'll become the quiet assassin. <laughs>